Creating content for your site is a great complement to your products. Web content includes all the great stuff like contact forms, informational pages, and your blog. These items let customers get closer to your brand, reach out for help, but most importantly, this original content helps people find you by boosting your SEO strength. To get started building content, travel over to the content link in your menu, and then click on Web Pages. The first item I'd like to build is a contact page. This can be one of the most highly viewed pages in your store, especially if you have a brick and mortar store. Customers always wanna know locations, store hours, or ask you questions about your products. You can enter all those things in your contact page. Click the Create a Web Page button. The first option is to decide what type of page this will be. Pick the last item that reads, allow people to send questions or comments via a contact form. This automatically inserts a form onto this page on your site, which allows your customers to send you a message. This will be delivered as an email to the address of your choosing. First, I'll name my page. Names like contact or contact us are pretty standard and most customers already understand what these pages will contain. These are pretty standard titles, but it's totally up to you. Just be sure to name this something that makes sense to your customers. As you move away from the page name field, you'll see the page URL automatically populate. This is ideal, and unless you're certain you want a different URL for this page, it's best to leave this as is. Then you have the content section. This is where you can add in all the other contact info about your store. If you have a physical brick and mortar address, it's a great idea to enter that here. What are the hours of operation? You might also list a public email address and phone number that you provide to the public. You'll also want to think about writing a short message to your customers about how excited you are to receive their questions, comments, and feedback. This is the data that can really help you improve your shop and your offerings. If you want to add a little flair to your contact page, you can actually embed a Google Map into your website. Just go to Google Maps and type in your store's address. Drop down the menu and select Embed. Once you get the embed iframe code, you can enter it into the HTML section of your WYSIWYG content field. Remember, you don't have to do this on your contact page. You can create a directions page or a location page or whatever you think works best for your store. Each type of content page has a WYSIWYG editor with an HTML button. I'll scroll down to my contact information. Here we can decide which email address we want to receive customer questions and feedback. Below, you may decide what fields you want to offer your customer. To keep it easy, BigCommerce selects two fields for you by default, email address and question comment. It's proven that the more fields you offer customers to submit, the less likely they will be to submit questions or feedback. We want to promote feedback, so I'll leave this as is, with just the email address and question fields to be filled out by my customers. Easy breezy. However, some businesses will need to collect phone numbers or order numbers based on their business needs. If you have special needs, you can always install a custom form into any content page by utilizing the HTML field within the WYSIWYG editor. Or you can always create a custom template layout file if you're experienced with HTML and CSS. Below, we'll see navigation menu options. It's a good idea to include this in your navigation menu. Every theme is different as to where they display the content menu. It could be on the top of your BigCommerce store, or it will be down in the footer of your site. Selecting a parent page will make this page you're creating a child or sub-page of that parent page. For many themes, this will hide it from the homepage navigation. So depending on the organization of your site, you'll want to decide what pages need to be upfront and visible, and which can be sub-pages of other, more important content pages. Content like contact deserves to be a top-level page, so I'll leave this on no parent page. Below, within Advanced Options, you'll see those ever-important SEO fields, page title, and meta description. As always, you should definitely fill these fields out on every page, blog post, or product where you see them available. You can enter up to 70 characters in the title field and up to 150 characters in the description field. Search keywords will help customers find this information in your store's search. This doesn't have anything to do with the search engines, but is helpful nonetheless. Put a few keywords in here such as contact us, location, phone number, hours, whatever you want this page to result for in your store search. Below is the template layout file, which allows you to customize the layout of this page. But you'll need HTML CSS experience for this. 
check out our knowledge base for more information regarding template files. Lastly, you can set this as your homepage, but be aware, then you won't have products on your homepage. Or you can restrict this page to your customers who have created accounts and are logged into your store. Depending on the content of a particular page, this could be a useful feature to help entice users to create accounts and log in. Sort order can help order all of your pages just the way you like them. Or if you save and exit, you can always drag and drop the order of your pages. Whatever page is first here will show first in your navigation menu. Now let's create a content page. I'll click create a web page again. This time, I'll just leave it on content since I will not have a submission form on this page. Let's create an About Us page. You'll notice all the options here are the same as a contact page, just without the contact form. So you would write your content right here in this page content field, and you're all set. Feel free to take full advantage of all the tools within the WYSIWYG editor, like adding images or links to your content page. When you're done, just click Save and Exit, and your page should be live on your site. Let's go check it out.